Hi, my name is Manjot Singh. I'm an enterprise architect at MariaDB. And uh, the other day I got an interesting question. We need to count how many updates we're doing on the database and what tables those updates are touching. Well, yeah, they could use performance schema. Uh, they had some reasons why they didn't want to do that. Uh, performance schema does give you some really great uh, monitors and, and tooling uh, to, to look into the database. But the tra traditional way with MariaDB is the slow query log. And what the slow query log does, uh, once it's enabled, it has this variable called long query time. Long query time is basically if a variable or if a query runs longer than x, log it to the slow query log. Uh, so what's interesting though, uh, and, and this is great for examining, well, what's taking a long time in our database? What's going really slow? So if you set that to like three, anything over three seconds gets logged. Uh, that's a good point for a DBA to go to a dev and say, hey, why are these queries taking more than three seconds? Can we work on them and use, uh, you know, analyze, uh, use explain, do different things to figure out why these queries are, are slow. So that, that's a great use for the slow query log, but how else can we use it? Well, you could set this variable to zero. Now every query is logged. What you're, you're going to want to do, though, is uh, use the, the slow query wait limit. So slow query wait rate limit. Uh, and that rate limit is basically, um, let's say it's logging 100 of a type of query per second. If we set this to 100, it will only write one out of 100. So this is a great way to limit your I.O. usage. Because if you set this to zero and you have a, a highly concurrent database, your I.O. is going to go through the roof just writing this log. Um, and so when you set this rate limit, it will look at a query every 100 times it will write once to the log. Uh, so that's, that's a great option. So basically just writing 1% you know, of your, your queries. Um, then let's say you're on a replica. You may want to do um, slow query log, uh, log slave statements. Uh, and that one will basically allow you to, uh, to save those replication uh, options or those, uh, those replication queries that are coming through. And then there's also uh, admin statements. And those admin statements, you may want to also um, log. So this will allow you to really have, and there's, there's a number of associated variables, but really have an insight into what's going on with your database, uh, be able to examine your performance, be able to see uh, and count how many types of queries. So what we did with this, this client, um, he went through, he set the rate limit, he set his long query time to zero, uh, and then we basically could do a count of how many times an update happened in that slow query log, and we, could, we, could, we had a good idea. Uh, of, of what types of tables were touched, how they were touched, and, and whatnot. Um, so great feature in MariaDB server, um, and hope it's useful to you. Thank you.